Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here. Uh, in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can use Google Bard to basically fix the content on your site, fix the categories on your site that aren't getting any traffic and hopefully skyrocket traffic to your site. Uh, so with any site, you're gonna have tons of pages, blog posts, category pages, and categories in general that are probably poorly formatted, not structured right, and they just aren't getting traffic. So the core of this uh, strategy is gonna to have to do with topical clusters and from what it's what is a topical cluster so when it comes to seo this would be something that i would call a content hub topic cluster um basically you can see here right the green is going to be a pillar so the hub uh and then the the topic clusters is just going to be supporting content uh for the hub the main hub of content right and this is an even better uh example of it you have uh, your pillar content, so your main post, right? Cluster content um, all around it, which is just the supporting content for your content hub, right? You can call it a topic cluster, topical cluster, content hub. Um, used to be called a silo. Now, uh, on I would not structure a website like this, for example. I would have it linked uh, just to help with crawling, just to help with relevancy, uh, and just to make it easier for Google to understand what the site is about. I don't think that full... Uh, I guess orphaned clusters or hubs are the best strategy. Uh, I think you can have some of this content connected. I think you want some of that content connected. But yeah, here's how to fix it on your site uh, and here's how to do it using Google Bar. So with a lot of sites, if you're using WordPress, and this is just my, uh, my, my trial site, my practice site here. If you're using WordPress, go to your categories. Um, and I'm still in the process of fixing this one, right? You can see that I have worked on some of them, but uh, for example, helpful tips is 121 posts. That is not a uh, that is not a category I need to worry about. But what you're going to see happening uh, on all your sites is, for example, Campbellton, right? But that's a very small town in New Brunswick. Let's do Edmonton. Uh, you're going to have categories with just like one, two, or you know, even under 10. Um, under 20, under 30 uh, blog posts within that category, within that content hub, right? Uh, and let's say like the main post, my main post for the Edmonston category, the main, I don't know, the hub of that content hub is going to be the best things to do in Edmonston, New Brunswick. Now I'm embarrassed because this post probably isn't good. No, it's not good. But anyways, what you can do using Google Bard, knowing that Edmonston is the overall category, it's the overall topic you want to be ranking for with this as your main hub is you would pop in a Google Bard and you would say, um, can you tell me what a topic cluster is uh, for SEO? This is just a prime Bard, right? So it's now gonna do a search. It's just gonna help prime the actual AI just to get you started. Uh, and even here, you know, here's the benefits, attract more backlinks, improve UX or UE user experience, build topical authority, uh, which is what you want for authority, for relevance. Now from here, Right, it gives you an example. Now from here, you can say, I have a blog about New Brunswick. So you'd add your topic there. I want to uh, build a hub around Edmonston. I think that's how you spell it, which is the main town, which is a town in New Brunswick, which is a town in New Brunswick. Now as much information as you can give Google as possible, or you can give Bard as possible, it's just gonna be helpful, right? The more information you can give it, the better information it's gonna give you for the output. Right, um, can you build a content hub around Edmonston, right? And provide uh, 10 blog post ideas that will promote this hub. And the main post, things to do in Edmonston. Now you can just apply this to your niche, however it's, uh, whatever your niche is, whatever the hub is. And now in theory, we should see this push out. I haven't done it yet. We should see this push out a uh, a uh, uh, pretty relevant hub. Now, format just the blog post titles without images or descriptions because we don't need that. And eventually, Bard will learn what you want and over time will give you an output for what you're uh, looking for in theory. And now here we go. Right, so for the main hub, which is gonna be either the category page or in this case, I would make this the uh, things to do at Edmondson post. Right, now we have 10 uh, additional topics related to uh, Edmondson that we can use to build out that hub, that topic cluster, right, just around Edmondson. 
So if you apply this across all the categories uh, and, and all the um, different topics on your site, you can have hundreds or even thousands of posts uh, that are all that are all building out separate content hubs for your site, right? Uh, so for example, today I built out a site, 10 core topics, 25 posts each under each topic, and that's 250 posts uh, just to start. Now from here, what you would do uh, is you would wanna save all these uh, in a spreadsheet, right? And of course, if you aren't too aware of the niche, uh, it's gonna be difficult for you to fully understand if all these are relevant or not. Um, so you're just gonna have to do trial by error or just determine on your own how relevant the post is, right? And then for example, what I then like to do uh, to build that out is, can you write a uh, blog post outline for what to eat in and Now I showed you guys in the last video, I like uh, Bard usually for the, um, uh, for the uh, blog post outlines. And then actually from here, you can say, keep the outline the same, but add specific restaurants. All right, and then from here, you would just paste this into ChatGPT and have GPT, ChatGPT uh, populate the actual blog post. And now this is why I really like Bard. It's super fast and look at that. It gives you such really specific uh, options, right? So must try restaurants for restaurants, local delicacies, for unique culinary experiences, and it gives you like actual experiences. So now when you apply this across 10 different posts uh, for a specific content hub, if it's this specific, if it's this detailed, right, it's gonna boost the authority of that specific hub. It's gonna boost this page, right? Like I should add a few of these right now after improving this one, uh, just to boost this page because I'm. it probably gets no traffic at all. Uh, and it's just gonna help again with authority, with relevance, with expertise, uh, and, and with user experience overall, right? So you're just gonna be creating the best possible content you can that's super related, that's highly relevant to exactly what people are looking for. Now, if someone does land on this page, the best things to do, or if they land on the, for example, um, if they land on Edmondson for Couples or Edmondson's History, they're gonna be able to see the different pages uh, and land on the things to do with Edmondson page. They're gonna have all the information they need for visiting. Um, and yeah, you can apply this to any niche, affiliate sites, uh, local sites, um, content sites like this one. And yes, yeah, just a super easy way. If you find content or categories on your website that are getting no traffic at all, uh, you really wanna be building up these clusters, ideally from the start, uh, but as a way to support content that is getting um, no traffic. And again, it's all free. You can use Google Bard, you can use ChatGPT 3.5, and uh, it's not gonna cost you any money to start building additional authority. As always, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, concerns, critiques in the, uh, in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.